Easter greetings to you all. For today's reflection, please join with me in reading St. Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 to 10. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the gods trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. For he has risen, as he said, Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worship him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee and there they will see me. This Easter is so unique because all the churches are empty for this Easter unlike the previous Easter celebrations. I happened to come across this message in the social media. It, it says like this, the churches are going to be empty for this Easter, but do not worry, because the tomb was also empty. Yes, it is true that this Easter has taken us so close to the first Easter day. The disciples were so frightened and locked down themselves inside the house. They were so scared and panicked to come out of the house, even to open the doors. They hid themselves for their lives. Today is a situation like those disciples, many of us are frightened, panicked, locked down inside our houses, fearing for our lives because of coronavirus. But the women who went to the empty tomb were given a promise, do not be afraid. The promise was first given by angels and it was reassured by the resurrected Lord. The disciples were assured of another promise also that the resurrected Lord will go before them and meet them. Later, the resurrected Lord appeared before them and made his presence in the room where the disciples were hiding with great fear. He then journeyed with them to Emmaus. The disciples did not have enough stock like us today for their daily food. They were unable to catch fish, but the risen Lord guided them to find their food and he also sat with them and ate. Most of us have come across this situation in recent days, struggling to find our daily needs in supermarket. We are assured that the resurrected Lord goes before us, makes his presence with us in our fears, guides us as we struggle for our daily needs and he also journeys with us. Yes, I am assured of this. But at the same time, I am deeply worried about many people across the globe, especially in places where there are complete lockdown, those poverty-stricken people who have no savings of money in their pockets and no stock of food in their houses locked themselves in the tiny imperfect houses and some are homeless people who have nothing to protect themselves. For them, what the risen Lord would mean? What empty tomb will mean? The tomb was empty and the church today is empty too. The risen Lord was not idle inside the tomb after resurrected. 
if we are the embodiment of Christ today and his witnesses, should we not take the responsibility of Christ to be his representative on the earth? How are we going to ensure the words of Christ, the resurrected Lord, do not be afraid? To all those who are fighting for the lives in hospitals and those frontline health workers who have risked their lives like Christ had risked his life for us. How are we going to be in solidarity with them? How are we going to stretch our hands to help the homeless and those victimized by poverty in this crisis time? It is not easy to answer these questions in words, but may we be challenged by these questions. The Christ community has always been a pastoral community sharing the burdens of each other, strengthening one another in prayers and actions. May the empty tomb, which assures us hope and promise for new life, also challenge us to carry the witness of the risen Lord. Amen. Please join with me in praying along with the words of St. Paul. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. Amen. May the risen Lord strengthen us to comfort those who are wounded, to carry the good news of hope and new life to all those who are at the verge of losing them. May we be a blessing to all. Amen.